What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, we are back with another WWE action figure household item weapon tutorial slash showcase, man. We got a lot of stuff going on. A lot of people have been asking me lately, and we haven't done this video in like two years, I think, or something like that. It, it was a long time ago that we did this video, so I figured we could make an updated version, showcase some stuff that we showed off in that last video, and also show off some new stuff and some things we have not seen before that I did not show you guys. So, this is really excellent. I Cannot wait to get into it. If you guys do pick feds or stop motions or shows, or you're just trying to lively up your, your action figure photography, or you know, you want to add to your setups, there's a lot of deals for this right here. But we're basically going to be using we're basically gonna be using household objects to create weapons for our AEW WWE action figures and stuff like that. And it's kind of crazy because last time we did this video, AEW figures didn't even exist, so that's kind of cool to see, man. But anyways, let's go ahead and dive in. We do have the MDT Extreme Champion right here, which is Kevin Owens, who's been champion for forever now you know it's just the way the cookie crumbles sometimes but let's get into some of my favorite weapons if you guys did not know i have used this before this is a diet mountain dew can now this could use for any soda can you know you, you go you have soda in your fridge or any cans of any sort it really doesn't matter aluminum's a great little source of, a, of an action figure weapon man this right here could be used it could it could look like a cooler in the backstage area you could use it as a trash can i mean the the thing is it, when you're doing these action figure matches or you're doing these things with your pick fed and stuff like that, man. Creativity is your best friend, man. Use the illusion. Try to create the illusion. Try to, you know, think outside the box. Do some things that people haven't done before. But this is something that I have used before, and I love it. I love this method. I think it's really awesome. We used it at, what, the MDT? Was it Hell's Gate? I think it was a Hell's Gate that we used this. But this was so awesome. So basically, you just take an aluminum can. It can work as a table or like a prop. And what you'll do is you'll lay it down like so. And again, this could be a cooler. This could, I mean, there's so many different options. This actually was used at GCW WrestleMania. I used one of these in my matchup with Stage Creator and G-Man, so there's that, but let's just get a superstar in here, get rid of the Extreme Championship for a while. We're just going to take Kevin Owens right here, and all you got to do is load up Corazon de Leon right here in a powerbomb motion. This looks all too familiar. Why is my name on this list? Oh, geez, remember. Anyway, Kevin Owens loads up Corazon de Leon for a powerbomb, and... Just like that, slams him into the can, and look, it makes a perfect indication. Bam, right there, and you could obviously smush it more. And look at that right there. It looks like he got power bombed or crushed. You could even, you know, lay him on there now. Have him laid over the top of it and then have Kevin do a frog splash on him and crush it like that. Multiple options for that, but that's one of my favorite figure weapons in the house is just a random soda can. Because I think it looks brutal, you know, it, it puts a big dent into the guy and I, I think it just makes for a really awesome little piece there. So that's why I used it in my pick fed. I thought it was awesome. Plus, I love Diet Dew, so there you go. That's awesome. Love this prop. One of my favorite props you can use is a soda can. I think it works as a great table or a prop or, you know, a platform style deal there. Next, next weapon that we have is going to be these lollipop sticks. Now, I'm pretty sure you can get these at like different craft stores like a dollar or something like that. You may have something similar laying around the house. Maybe some Q-tips. Maybe some toothpicks. We even have toothpicks right here. I'll get into that in just a moment. But I just took some black tape and I wrapped it around the ends and now it looks like light bulb tubes for your action figures. And look, you know, Kevin Owens can hold these. He can take it and he can beat the hell out of somebody with it. And then if you're trying to simulate that it's breaking, all you gotta do is take some scissors cut it in half and now it looks like a broken light and then you can have this on the ground or if you want to disintegrate it you get some salt dump it out on the ground it looks like broken glass very easy man very easy stuff just get creative with it there is light tubes for wwe action figures i love these i think these are great another thing is toothpicks toothpicks can work as kendo sticks you could even you know take two or three of them take two or three of them you could tape them together like so you could get like a cluster of three tape that together have a kendo stick if you want to get like 17 of them and lay them across two chairs or something, create a bridge of toothpicks and slam them through it. You got an operational table right there. So there's another option for you. You can dump these toothpicks out and use this as weapon storage for a hardcore match or have somebody bring this to the ring full of weapons. Even use your action figure accessories. If you, you know, if you only have a chair or maybe you only have a sledgehammer or not a lot of weapons, you could load up this toothpick canister with weapons and use it as your, your mock trash can. Fill it up with little pieces of paper and little debris you find around your house and then use it to 
it, dump it on another superstar in the middle of a match. Just, again, man, just creativity. That, it's your best friend. Now, getting into one of my favorite personal weapons, it's going to be the glass panes. Now, I've shown this off before, but what this is is just a CD case, bro. You can get these CD cases, I, I think, on Amazon for really cheap, or maybe you have old CD cases laying around. Ask your parents or ask whoever, or maybe you have some regular CD cases laying around the house. All you're going to do is open it up, break the uh, you know, the, the cover piece where the cover of the, you know, the CD usually goes, break the cover piece off, and now you have a beautiful glass pane for a hardcore match. So, you know, you'll set this up on a chair or whatever. Let me see if I can clear out an area right here. You got a chair there, and you have a chair there. And look at this right here. Now look. Now I have a perfect holder for my glass pane. Corazon de Leon, where are you? Now look what I'm doing. Power bomb onto the glass pane, okay? But if you're, like, that can work, but you can also take a bunch of those CD cases, or one of them, and break it into tiny pieces. Then, when the guy goes through it, you dump the little shards of, of CD case everywhere, and it looks like it's shattered glass. Use salt. Again, if you take some salt, I got this tip from my boy Prime Wrestling, take some salt and dump it on the ground. It looks like shattered glass. You pair that with this, and it looks like shattered glass on the ground. So that is one of my favorites, the glass panes. I think that is ingenious. That is not my doing. That is my boy Prime Wrestling. That's where I got that from, is Prime Wrestling. He's an absolute genius when it comes out. I thought that was so creative that I had to use that in my fed. So that's just tips that I'm passing along to you guys. Outside of the glass panes, you also have popsicle sticks. Popsicle sticks could also work as a weapon. If you wanted to pair a couple of these together, maybe you want to do, like we just said, make a bridge. Again, what are we doing, Brad? Take, uh, you know, take a bunch of these sticks right here, stack them all together. What do you do? You get your chairs right here, your platforms, stack them together like so. You guys can already see where I'm going with it. What is it? Corazon de Leon. Boom, there it is again. Again, if you're pick fetting, it's a little bit different because you'd take a picture of him in the air, you'd have a picture of him hitting it, and then what would you do, Brad? You'd take him and you'd have him shattered, and then he would go through it like so, like that right there. So, another option for you to create those moments and create those OMG moments uh, or wherever the hell you are in the arena. It's kind of crazy because this looks like a damn mess now, but moving on to the next figure weapon slash at home deal. You can use your phone or an old phone as a monitor backstage. Set it up in the backstage area. You could set this up on a table or whatever. So say this is a desk or a table backstage and you have a little prop back here, right? Let me scoot this up so you guys can see. So say this is a table backstage. I can use my phone and now it is a, a monitor backstage for the superstars to look at. You know, it's a big TV. You could use it as a big screen TV. Superstars are sitting backstage watching it. Superstars or whatever. They get into a fight now. Corazon de Leon, where you at? KO throws him in into the monitor, busts his face on the monitor. Now, you know, and now I'm off to the races with whatever I'm doing. I can use the monitor as a weapon. I can take it and I can crush Jericho's skull with the with the monitor. I can pick up the monitor and hit him over the head. WCW backstage assault style. That's another one that you could use is if the phone as a monitor, an old phone. Next up, we're not done, Brad. We got plenty more. Next up, this is uh, just some beads that I got from Hobby Lobby. I think my boy Cody sent me these, but they're just little mini beads. Perfect for tax, bro. Perfect for tax. Now, there's a couple ways you can do this. You can dump a little a few out right there. What does that look like, Brad? That looks like thumbtacks for your wrestling action figures. Look how well they scale. Corazon de Leon lands on there, and it's like, ah! And look, it looks, it looks like it's stuck in his back. I mean... It, it works, man. It totally works. And if you want to, I guess you could, like, see, they kind of stick to the figure anyway. But another thing you can do is also get little bits of tinfoil and roll them up tiny bits, and that could work too. But these little beads, these plastic beads, or whatever the hell these are, work perfectly for thumbtacks as well. So there's another option for you. Poor Corazon de Leon getting beaten the hell out of. Let's move on. I got a couple more to show you guys before we get out of here. The next one that we have, this right here, I know it looks like, oh, you got a steel cage playset? No, Brad, this is legitimately now you will probably want to ask your parents permission or maybe you have one of these laying around or maybe you know you want to dump all your silverware out and just use this as a cage in the backstage area you could use it as a little prop you could use it as a stage prop whatever the case is this is legitimately silverware inserts into a drawer like you're supposed to put this in the drawer and put your different silverwares in there i reversed it so it looks like a steel cage on the background now what do you have you have something that your superstars can a climb up the top of in the backstage area and jump off of or you know if I, if i'm watching my monitor backstage or i'm in a backstage interview he gets ambushed boom it takes 
him out and then he can throw him into that cage and he can grind his face into the cage. So this uh, silverware holder can work as a bunch of different things there. Again, he could take it, throw him into it. Again, man, just the creativity level, man. It's the beauty of WWE figure collecting. Kind of reminds me of like Attitude Era or something, man. Like, I don't know. There's just so many different explorations you could do. Now, the last one that I have for you guys is a great little platform. Now, I may have to, you know, let me set this up real quick because I think, I think this one's pretty cool as well. Say we are using the little backstage mini deal right here, and then we have our platform. Now, this is just old action figure packaging of Marvel Legends Wolverine. All right, see? Now, this can be a crash platform. You guys know that people use it all the time. I mean, you could use your glass panes. You can use all these different things. But now, we have a little crash pad for our stunt right here. So, now, Kevin Owens, Corazon de Leon's knocked unconscious, right? Now, he's on the platform. Let me scoot this back a little more here. All right, Corazon de Leon is unconscious. So what's Kevin Owens do? He's going to scale the cage. Scale the cage. He's going to climb up. He's at the top. And what is he going to do? Now he can jump off. Bam. You got a frog splash on there. And then if you want to have an ultra impact, if you really want the impact, you can take it and just... Well, this box isn't really a good idea, but you get the point. You can crush the box and it can be used for impact. Boom. So now he goes through the crash pad. Not as impactful. You know, you could have cut it where it went through the window there, but you guys get the idea, man. All about the creativity. All about the creativity. Now my backstage is a real assault. Jesus. I just assaulted my backstage area with all these weapons showcasing these different tutorials on how to do this. Anyway, you guys get the point of what I'm trying to say here. The last thing that I have to show you guys is also this right here. I got this from Hobby Lobby. This is its best choice. I don't, I don't even know. Trading. It's like this wire right here, and you get it on the jewelry aisle. It's kind of expensive to be honest with you but you can take this you can cut this off and then literally you can like this is free form wire that's not e hard to bend at all and you can bend it around any weapon bro you can build bend it around chairs you can bend it or whatever and then you have a barbed wire chair without you know having to buy the ringside collectibles one even though i'd probably just go buy the aew weapons pack that has barbed wire in it because it's probably cheaper in the long run and you don't have to make nothing yourself and you get a good deal on a bunch of different weapons and platforms and stuff so that's probably something you want to do there but that is all i got man that's my household item WWE figure weapons tutorial and list tons of great creativity right here I think the the sky's the limit on it there's plenty more that you could actually do I and mean, I, I know people out there that are building their own weapons we kind of built some weapons here or I've shown you some of them but you guys get the point of what I'm trying to make man the point is be creative create crazy moments and matches make memories for a lifetime that is gonna wrap up my WWE action figure weapons or using household items but before we get out of here man let's get into our random shout out and this shout out's gonna go to Michael Davis who says seeing MDT almost have a conniption in a good way over interchanging bodies is the content i signed up for talking about our cody and adam page review from last week where we dove into just all the interchangeability with those suited figures man you so much creativity and things can be done with those and it's really impressive i loved it i thought it was fantastic love those figures and a huge shout out to michael for noticing the giddiness on my face as i reviewed those figures man but that's gonna wrap up today's video thank you guys so very much for watching huge shout out to michael for the comment i'm getting out of here man thank you guys so very much for watching have a blessed day i'll see you guys next time and if you don't make homemade figure weapons for your figures, then, uh... You cross the line.